Hello. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Heart. Um, today we are going to be doing something for the very first time. A lot of people ask me how I dress up, uh, what like dictates a certain look, is it my mood, how I get ready for a certain event. And we realized, my team and I realized, that we haven't really done this. So I'm so, so excited. And um, we're gonna come up with looks and scenarios. And I will show you how I style myself and how I dress and what I like to put together whenever I'm, number one, going to the airport. Actually, this is uh, like a, a, a little capsule from my my walk-in closet. Um, we just put a different random stuff together because that's exactly how I travel. Um, except when I'm doing fashion weeks, but when it's like a personal trip, I just get like few pieces that I love wearing. And then when I'm there, it's just like an impromptu, which I love random moments where I just put things together. So usually when I go to the airport, I have a specific look that I like um i love anything that's loose i am a huge fan of the frankie shop the frankie my pants are from the frankie shop so let's for example i would be wearing this to go to the airport uh, maybe i'd wear like a tank top or something with it um i love i love something that i know i can sleep in i am not the type to bring change of clothes in the plane I have major flight anxiety, so if I'm gonna have to go to the bathroom or the toilet multiple times because I have to change, I have to do that, I, I try not to. Um, and because I used to wash a lot of like seconds before disaster, I, I read somewhere, I heard somewhere that whenever you're riding a plane, you always have to wear pants. Um, not shorts, not a skirt, pants, because just in case, let me knock on wood, if the unfortunate happens and you were to kind of crash into the water and you're there floating and if you're wearing shorts or a skirt your skin will shine like fish and that's what's going to attract the sharks so you always have to wear <laughs> pants and you always have to wear um rubber shoes uh i wear rubber shoes i do not wear anything open because they also said of course i'm gonna wear socks but i'm not wearing socks now um, they also said that in case of like the bad things were to happen that there's always going to be debris everywhere so if you wear sandals you're gonna end up being injured and stepping on like metal and all of that so i always wear rubber shoes or boots whenever i travel of course again i have socks and whenever i travel i always have to wear socks because somewhere in the middle of the ride i fall asleep and i need my feet to be super warm so i wear socks but this is more or less like the look that you would see me um, that I'd be using like if I'm traveling or this is actually something that I would also wear whenever I'd go to the derma or like on a normal day and something that I love doing um, I always have like uh, a bag full of ponytails because I like to put it on my sleeve roll it up because you get so irritated whenever you roll up your sleeve and they just keep slipping down so I always have these like cute um, ponytails that I buy from the internet or it's just in Divisoria, they sell like a whole pack. And this is what I do. Bag, yes. Whenever I travel, I love big bags. Um, it depends also if I have my duffel bag, because I do have a duffel bag. But if it's like a short trip, or you're going to Singapore, Indonesia, or whatever, um, I'd like to just wear like a nice hack. This is an Hermes hack. It's a vintage one that I painted on. I painted on this like three times, but I think this is the final look. And for accessories, I like to keep it chill. I just wear a watch. This is a Philips sign watch. Um, I do love traveling with my Philips sign because it shows you two clocks. So Philippine, and then the bigger one is for Paris or wherever I am. And of course, I put on some, you know, just for, wala naman grado, but I do love putting on glasses. Um, yeah, so sometimes I just like putting glasses on if I'm not really in the mood or if I wear shades, I feel like it's too intimidating. Like, I don't want to appear to be snobbish. But if it's like a pair of glasses, I feel like it's just right. But you're in a way still kind of... Like, there's still a shield of, like, um, privacy of it. 
Um, but I mean, you can approach me anytime. I would say hi, you can take a photo, it's not a problem. But sometimes when I'm just really tired or whatever, I just put glasses on. So I do have, I also have travel with these thingamajiggies over here. It's a set of different sunglasses. I cannot live without them. This one as well. I'd probably use this. It's the most comfy one. There. So this is my airport look. Okay, brunch. So whether I'm in a different country or whatever, the mood is still the same. Um, I don't really care if it's hot here in the Philippines. So I always like dress according to my mood. Brunch with my friends br or brunch meeting or whatever. I would probably wear something again that's still very put together. Um, and you never know who you're gonna bump into. So you always have to be ready, especially here in Manila. Um, when you're in Paris though, you can wear anything very simple. Everybody's just very nonchalant and they don't really care, which that's why I also love it there. But then here, you always have to make sure that you're very well, well put together. Um, brunch would be, I do love uh, this Caporelli jacket that I got a long time ago. Um, it's very tricky, but you know, it, it, some people feel like it's too much, but really it's kind of always dressing down. Even if you're wearing a gown or anything, I feel like you always have to dress down. So a lot of people say, why are you gonna wear that for brunch or whatever, for the grocery or whatever? But you know, it's about expressing and feeling good about yourself. As long as you know how to have a good, like balanced look, it's okay. So this is what I would wear. I'd probably pair it up with just jeans and a nice tank top. So I'll be back. This top isn't actually a top top, it's like a bodysuit, but it's really a bathing suit from YSL. I love this because it's super, I mean, I wear it for everything. You can wear the blazer or whatever, but it's a basic or it's a necessity, an essential that is a must to have. Um, these jeans are also from YSL. I used to never spend on jeans. Um, I'm not very choosy or picky when it comes to like brands, especially with jeans, but YSL, they have really nice jeans that are very relaxed, very fit, and for some reason, maybe it's a psychological thing, but I do feel like I can easily dress them up with whatever. So this would be something I would wear for brunch. Um, I definitely pair it up with cute stilettos. Uh, this is also from YSL. Obviously, I am such a huge fan. I love these shoes because they're so like very feminine and sexy on the feet. Okay, so this with, with that, um, and it instantly kind of dresses up your look. And then I would add this cute um, jacket from Scaparelli. A lot of people would probably say, oh, it's so unrealistic to wear something like this to, to go out. You feel like you'd only wear it for like a special occasion. But again, it's all about having a good balance keeping it a bit more casual with, you know, even your makeup, you tone your makeup down, um, just like a nice, you know, like relaxed, nonchalant kind of haircut. That's why I love my haircut these days because it's just very relaxed. Um, you don't have to put so much effort into it. And then you just pair it with jeans and a nice, you know, stiletto. And then I would probably wear it with, I don't mind mixing a little, I don't miss it mixing a little color. Uh, a lot of people find it awkward to mix brown, black, gold, um, but for me it doesn't really matter as long as you kind of feel really good wearing it and putting it together. Um, and this one is nice. I think it's, it, it's not like you prepare and everything was super perfectly organized and everything had to match, but I feel like it works. Um, I love this bag. Of course, it's obviously from Louis Vuitton. And, but this bag is my favorite because it fits your whole life and my dog's life. That's Bochi's dog food. Um, oh, I've been looking for this lip liner. My God, nakakahiya. Ka lang pala. So yes, I love that. And then I would probably just mix it with um, shades, something simple. Let's see. Not really simple, but it's still nice. I mean, it's... Mm. Right? A good brunch look. So again, it's a good balance of, you know, casual, but yet still very chic and effortless. So this would be my look for brunch. 
There you go. So yeah, so this would probably be my most favorite. I travel with this top everywhere because I can mix it up again with another jacket. Just like that, easy. This one is from Louis Vuitton. Um, sorry, there's a tag, I just got that. But I would wear it like this. Just very simple, casual. So if you just change the blazer, again, it doesn't have to be expensive, but it is important for me to invest on a really good blazer because it really just brings the game to a different level and everybody deserves a good blazer. Wearing the best blazer or like a really great blazer that fits you the best would get or seal all the jobs that you can imagine. I would just probably mix it with something that's, um, I love big bags. Um, I do, I'm very independent, so I have to bring a lot of stuff. And this is from Bottega and I love it. It's casual, it's very chic, um, very nonchalant. And then I'd probably just wear, I don't know, glasses with it. These are Ray-Bans and just very simple. And then, right? And you didn't even have to pack a lot. If you think about it, if you brought this whenever you're, if you're traveling, you just change the blazer and the glasses and the bag and that was it, that was it. So this is my look for a good brunch and then we kind of shifted for maybe a different, if that wasn't on one day, this would be on a Tuesday. Grocery, okay. Uh, when I was younger and I wasn't so responsible about a lot of things, going to the grocery for me was fun. But when things started to get serious in life, I realized that the grocery is a very hectic place to be in, but I still love going to the grocery. And you just see so many people at the grocery, so it's always important to, you know, dress up. So my grocery look would most probably be just a simple um, tank top. Like any tank top will, will do. And Cute white pants. Everybody says, when you wear white pants, aren't you like scared to get it uh, stained or it's hard to move around? My, you know what? You just have to not care so much. Believe me, because if you just don't care so much, it doesn't happen. You don't get the magic soy sauce all of a sudden on your white pants or, you know, but just don't wear red lipstick when you're wearing white pants on a normal day. If it's an event, yes, but if it's like, you know, on a normal day, you wear it, you're gonna get it on your pants. Grocery. This would be my grocery look. I know you guys will probably say, "Grab in a moment, grocery." See, Isa is my stylist over there, my stylist and uh, the connection to my life, my therapist these days. Chat. Um, so yeah, she's like, "Grab in a moment, grocery." You know, honestly, it only feels like it looks so expensive because it's white. I did have my white era. I had my surfer era, my bohemian era. I had my whole like political wife, chuchu era, na super stiff, na hindi pala ako yun. And then I had my white era. So I go back to my white era and I feel like that's always going to be part of my style. Um, white, for me, looks elegant right away. So these pants are from the Frankie shop. I love anything that's loose, but still very nicely tailored. Um, I love also that it's a little bit long. You can wear it with high heels, or you could also have it just like nonchalantly like that with um, rubber shoes. Uh, and again, it's all white, it's elegant. This is from Paco Rabanne. Um, I would probably wear it or blend it with like a black. This is from Bottega, it's the bigger size. I love, again, big bags. Um, you could dump everything there. And I would just wear this to the grocery. Again, I could pair it with -na 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 -na. maybe shades. This is from YSL. Um, and I could probably just wear, again, my favorite rubber shoes with socks, once again, um, from Louis Vuitton. And because. Uh, it's okay, Yogi, you're gonna go. Cause um, it's just more relaxed and you feel more like you could do anything. Uh, you don't have to worry so much. I would still wear actually heels to the grocery, but honestly, as I got an older, I really love wearing flats. I mean, these aren't really flats, Midaya, but still. Um, I also like to, how are you doing, Yogi? Is everything okay? Huh? It's okay, okay. You can pass. Um, so, I. Bagong dry clean. Excuse me. 
I also like to, um, whenever I buy, also something that you should remember. Whenever you buy like pants, if there's an available um, blazer that comes with it, grab it because you'll always be, you know, you'll always be able to use it together. So if you put the blazer on, it again, it goes like, it's a different look now. You don't have to go to the grocery. You can also have brunch again, or you can live a life date or have a date with my husband or whatever, or even like attend an event. You just have to change your shoes. But this I'd still wear to the grocery, honestly. Um, but of course, if you're moving, you're sweating, you don't want to have that. Um, I would also wear it realistically because you'd probably say, I don't want grocery like a simple sweater. Like probably put it like that, you know, just to make it very smart looking. Um, why not? Shut up. Um, yeah, but for the grocery, I could just wear maybe this cute bag also, this camera bag from Louis Vuitton. Um, so it's easy to move. Uh, this would also be like a good market. Um, market meaning when you're in Paris or in wherever you're traveling. I'd wear this also to the market and it's just easy to move around. Um, and then if I were to be doing something else since we're at it already and you're wearing all white, I could automatically like up my look and make it dressy just by changing my shoes and changing your accessories. I can, I can do that for you. Want me to do that for you? Sure. So what I'm trying to say is it's always important to kind of invest on a really nice pair of like a blazer and white slacks because it's something that you super flexible. You can wear it to the grocery, you can wear it to the event. And I'm going to show you just about that, um, how I'm going to make this outfit a bit dressy for maybe a date night. So if you have like so much to do, you have to go to the back, the grocery, you have to drop off the kids or bring the dog to the vet, shut up. And then after you have like a date, all of a sudden you have a ping on Tinder. I've never dated, tin I mean through Tinder. I never went through that phase, but let's just pretend that there's Tinder, a Tinder alert. I would be able to, you know, transform this look with this beautiful corset. This is from Dolce & Gabbana. Um, I thought about this many, many times because it was, well, I, I wasn't really supposed to shop that day, but this top is amazing. You could wear it with anything. We could actually work around this top, but I'll put this on first and show you how I can make this dress. So Yogi, do you approve? So this is the corset that I love. I also travel with this corset everywhere I go. I'm gonna show you why. People ask me if I travel with my jewelry. I sometimes do, it depends um, where I'm going. But sometimes I do travel when, if I wanna play around with my jewelry, I bring fashion jewelry as well because of safety purposes. So yes, so this is the look I would actually wear, maybe heels probably. Panders na siya, so give na natin sa kanya. Deserve Yogi. Yogi, sige, kaskasi mo pa. Lahat ng mga galis-galis, ganyan. Kaskas mo lang dyan sa ano, maganda nating Fendi, ano. Charot! No, I'm just kidding. You can do whatever you want. Okay, you know how to get rid of Yogi? Kuya Frank? Where's Kuya Frank? Where's Frank? Where's Kuya Frank? Yogi? Kuya Frank? Where's Kuya Frank? Kuya Frank? Kuya Frank? Go na. Where's Kuya Frank? Oh, go. Punta mo na si Kuya Frank. Kuya Frank? Anap mo na Kuya Frank? Kuya Frank? Ayan na siya. Diyan na si Kuya Frank. Okay, so I would change my shoes. These platforms are the best. I have them in all colors. If you're looking for the best platform, these are from YSL. The best platform. I can walk the whole day, no joke. And believe me, I've tried all the kinds of high heels. This never gave me cramps. I never had corn or whatever on my toes. The best ones and they're so comfy. So I could even go to the airport with it. Although realistically, I don't because I'm just too tamad, but no, I'm not even tao now. Agree, Drew? Huwag tao na ako bigla, oh. Ano mo, pag yun ito, sumasamay, ugali mo eh. Kasi parang, this is it. It's revenge. Anyway, so, again, you could also wear the blazer with it. I'll show you how that looks. With the blazer, guys, again, you add the, you can add the ponytail with it, but with the blazer, look at that. Boom. 
then you would also add, if you want to really just go all out, this, these are cute, they're from Alaya. And these are the best when you're entering a room and you have people that you don't like, because even if your peripheral, I mean your peripheral vision is also covered. So you're really like not guilty. I didn't see them, oh I didn't see. No, I didn't, oh they're there, oh really I didn't see. Ganon, because the peripheral vision is covered. So I would totally do this. This is the look, I love it, yeah. And if you're also celosa or celoso and you, you don't want your girlfriend to have a wandering eye, Alaya! Hindi mm. <laughs> makikita yung dumadaan si Kuya, oh. Pak! Oh. So, pag may event kayong pupuntahan, alam mo nandun yung ex ni girlfriend, regaluhan mo ng Alaya, tapos ang problema mo. Okay, how to up this? Again, change it up by using and, you know, packing light. It's always a discussion whenever you're packing. Overweight na ba ako? Mag shopping ka pa and all that jazz. So this is something that I also love. I haven't worn this. Um, this comes with a full look actually. This is from Kate Barton. This is another game changer. I love whenever I uh, have a treat and buy myself something really nice. I always consider when I buy something that it's something that I can mix match with my existing items. I don't want to just splurge and not use it again. When I buy something, I make sure that I can use it again. So imagine it if I were to close it in the back and this would probably be a nice look. I would also wear it with like maybe another color, um, a silver top with like black slacks, if you just imagine that. This is something that I also like to travel with because Instant. You could also wear it with jeans if you want to tone it down. Like you could put a tube and then you have like really nice faded jeans that are just loose and then you... Imagine na lang ha. Pinapagod nyo na ako eh. <laughs> I don't know. Change hairstyle pa tayo today. Alam nyo na yun. So that's also something that I love to do. I love playing around. So when it's fashion week, actually you could just throw me a bunch of clothes and I would know what to do. Because again, it's not about what's... In fashion, it's not about if it's expensive, it's how you feel, so you also dress according to how you feel. Because if you feel good, you will look good. Okay, so that's another look. And then, the last look is my power outfit. Um, you'd be surprised with my power outfit. I'll show you in a bit. Surprise, because it's wild card look when you're about to go to sleep and then you realize, oh my God, they're inviting me out. And it's night, tonight is the night and you have no choice. I'm just kidding, it looks like uh, lingerie, but it's it's YSL. Um, I am a huge, obviously a huge fan of YSL, even my shoes. Um, but you know, honestly, if we were talking about, realistically speaking, you could just get a really nice like lingerie from, I don't know, SM, La Senza, uh, and you could dress it up easily by wearing heels, uh, put on a blazer, uh, accessorize. Um, so this is something that I also like to travel with. I actually have a big uh, bags of different garment, like uh, different like accessory tops and stuff that I bring. And this would be one. Um, I am obsessed with this one as well. Uh, why people? If people are asking me why do I love YSL? Um, I feel like it's also the quiet luxury that I love. When I was young, I would also go through um, an all printed um, stage. Uh, I also had, you know, I was working with people that would also come up with looks for me. And I just found my sense of style, I feel like recently, and that would be, you know, having classic items. And I told myself that before I'm 40, my everyday outfits should be all, like I would invest my hard earned money on pieces that would, you know, I could wear every day and this would be one. So this is something, sorry. So this is also like a nice YSL trench. Um, I remember when I got this, uh, there were only a few pieces and the other piece went to Zhang Ziyi. Um, she loved this jacket and I, I understand why. It has a really nice like structure to it. Um, it looks like a robe, but with of course the shoulder, it's like so elegant. You pair it with like something that's very chill, like a nice lingerie looking dress. 
and it's instantly elegant. I would style it with, uh, or I'd accessorize. Um, why not? Let's uh, get this really beautiful necklace. This is a Bulgari piece that I love. Let's just, uh, I'll pretend to put it on. And I would, you know, accessorize it with something gold. Um, you also have the option. This actually, this jacket, I would also travel with um, because I'd wear like a nice tank top and jeans. And look at that, it's a gown. It's already a gown. And I would have like a cute pop of color like this beautiful cutie from Louis Vuitton. Love that. And it's just, you know, very young, elegant. Um, you can never go wrong with black. I would actually wear it with nothing inside and you can button all the way here and just wear like nice stockings and it would also be a look. Change the lippy, have a little smoky eye and it's perfect. So this is the wild card look. And that is it actually. I hope you guys loved our dress up portion. I really thought that this was fun and I don't mind doing it. So if there's anything else that you want me to do or any advice that you need from me regarding you know, how to dress up. Also, if it's according to your budget, that would also be great. I'd love to help you on that because everybody thinks you know, just because it's expensive, it's beautiful. Not really. Um, it's all about how you put things together and it's how you feel about yourself that makes something expensive looking. So we could also do something like that if that is something that you fancy. But this has been hard. I think I'm... I think I'm gonna go to sleep now, so. Our job is done. Good night, guys. Hope you like this. This has been hard, ciao, ciao.